Hey everybody, this is Secrets of Lego Universe podcast live from Colorado. This is Jerry Meyer, a uh, concept artist for Lego Universe. So what kind of stuff do you do for your job? Uh, I create pretty much uh, anything from environments to characters to vehicles uh, that are going to eventually be created in 3D to be put into the game. Awesome. So basically you start everything in Lego Universe. It's pretty much like that. So the people, you have the concept, so you make it, and then the developers put it in the game, they tweak it a little bit, and that kind of thing. So that's really cool. Pretty much, yeah. It does start with us. I mean, we, we work alongside with what's called game designers. They come up with the the overall concept of the gameplay, and they quite often create nothing but a list of things that need to be drawn or visualized and then that's where we step in so it's kind of both of us working together to to kick off new things that are in the game really cool so would you maybe happen to bring a little bit of the concept art that might have been the starters for some of the stuff that we know in the game sure I have a, oh wow cool I have a stack right here so I'll start off with this. I don't know if you recognize that. This is the spaceship when you get into the game. Wow. Can you see that okay over there? Um, this is a very loose concept, but you can see this is pretty much where you come in as a character, and then you work your way this way, talk to the, the guy up here. I have a close-up. Bob. Bob, yeah. I should know that. Um, talk to Bob up here. He gives you the rundown of earning imagination then you come down here and put your rocket together so there's a I have a close-up view of Bob's area so this is the early concept of, of the, the platform that Bob stands on we didn't quite know what to do with all these things off to the side and as you know they there are those platforms where you gather your imagination so that's that is so that's the bare roots of the Venture Explorer, so you mm -hmm. now you know where that all came from. All right, what you got next? Um, I don't know if you played the shooting gallery in Gnarled Forest. Here is I love that. This, this wow, guy. that's awesome! Yeah, this, this ended up looking very close to the concept art. Yeah. Usually that doesn't happen too often. Things get tweaked a little bit when they are created in 3D, but this is very close to uh, what it is. It's, of course, the ship that's up in the tree. Yeah. How the ship got in a tree, nobody really knows yet. We <laughs> so, wow, that's how Cannon Cove Shooting Gallery came to be. Really mm -hmm. awesome. So what else do you have? Um, this doesn't look anything like Nimbus Plaza, but this was an early idea where there was this weird mix. That's cool. Yeah, you had a weird mix of castle and uh, uh, Lego club and racing all kind of in a little plaza. And so it eventually got dialed into those colorful buildings that you see when you get into the Nimbus Plaza area. I like the food vendors here. That's kind of funny. Yeah. I'm still pushing for giant food in the game. Yeah. It hasn't shown up yet. Giant food. Uh, so that's basically what started Nimbus Station? Yeah. Nimbus, that area evolved a lot. It started out as yeah. a park, and then it... Uh, it had to start out with an initial battle area, but then it wanted to be more of a friendly area, so yeah. just introduced just the colorful buildings. There. Cool. Uh, have you been in Nexus Tower? Nexus Tower is awesome. So let's see what... Wow! Here is external view of the tower, um, and then a close-up of the landing pad that takes you into the game. These are what are called paint-overs. This is where mm -hmm. there is actual... 3D geometry that a modeler put together, and then I get a what's called a screen capture of that and paint over it because right wow. they don't really know what detail to add in there yet. So I go in there and say, oh, here's a cool place for a window. Here's where some lights can go. Here's wow. some neat coloring scheme. And so that's what that is. Awesome. Um, this is still ne uh, Nexus Tower. This is a the early concept Whoa. that started out the cross-section of the hallway and the idea is that it's asymmetrical there's a this was supposed to be like a tube that minifigures are shooting through um, yeah that looks pretty pretty like what they have now especially up here yeah that's really really awesome so, so you can see how things get tweaked a bit but they all start yeah. out with an initial look and feel and then once they start 
building it out of 3D, they could go in and say, oh, the proportions are this are kind of weird, and then you got your your camera that you got to fit in there. That's always an yeah. issue with mm -hmm. the camera swinging around. It's going to bump into things. Right. Um, here is a really different view of Pet Rock. Have you been there to train your... This oh, is, yes, Pet Cove. Yeah, this is an idea if it was a just a giant mountain that you actually start at the top and work your way down through the different animal-themed areas. See, that's cooler than what they have now. I don't know why they didn't keep that. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where the lighthouse came from. That just kind of yeah. appeared. Yeah. <laughs> but but we, we hold on to stuff like this yeah. as inspiration for other areas. Say we readdress Pet Rock or mm -hmm. Pet Mountain, and we say, oh, okay, I mean, you know, let's play with it this way, make it more of a safari thing. I think that's what the inspiration of this was. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then another thing I do is I work on the accessory kits for the... Oh, Space Ranger! Yeah, have you earned this kit yet? Um, I haven't, but I've definitely seen it, because mm -hmm. I've been more on some of the other factions. Uh -huh. So I have drawings of all the different specialty kits, and they s start out in these kind of... They're a little over the top. They break the rules a little bit as far as things that go around the world. Yeah. But they, they dial them into what... Mm -hmm. uh, can actually be put on the minifigure so the minifigure can still move. Um, there's still an idea that maybe they can create these out of actual plastic someday. That's, that's the hope of these specialty kits. So we have to follow rules of Lego system and right. the parts that go on the minifigure and all that. So that's all I have for you. All right, thank that's you. Stuff. All right, cool. Thanks, sir. You bet. All right. It was great meeting you. Mm -hmm. You too. All right. So let's get some. I'll have to figure this out, but I want to get some close-up shots of that artwork. So, oh, okay. so after, like after, so I'll just. <clears throat> so here we've got the the original concept for Pet Cove. Very nicely done. Run right here. We've got. We've got Bob's little area and the Venture Explorer. There's Bob there. Really, really, really awesome. Let's see, we've got the Sentinel Space Ranger. Whoa, Sentinel Space Ranger concept art. So that's rank one, that's rank two, and that's rank three. So they, they haven't changed that too, too much. And here I have the Nexus Tower concept art. And, um, you know, it looks really pretty much just like it does now. Some of that stuff there. The original Bear Nimbus Station. So we got the what he talked about for the kind of wacky mix of stuff. And the original for Cannon Cove Shooting Gallery. So that just really, they uh, made that pretty well in the game. I like Cannon Cove. So, and then lastly we have the, well not lastly, we have the Nexus Tower Hallway. The original concept art here. Some... And then we have the original Venture Explorer for when you get in. Pretty awesome. All right, Secret to the Universe, signing out.